see this face this is the face this is the jittery this is the reaction you get or I get when I've seen a good movie and today's good movie or tonight it is currently 6 30 I'm trying to pull out I have just seen Halloween and oh it was good it was a good time people <laughs> Boy, that was a good time. I had a ball with Halloween. Uh, lots of party goers out here. But, uh, yeah, I just loved this movie. Um, I think horror is making a comeback with all these reboots and sequels and re remakes you know first it was it and now we have Halloween and I cannot say how happy I was to see this movie um, Jamie Lee Curtis was phenomenal she was you know this whole thing about the strong independent woman well this was that strong independent woman she had her shit together She's been waiting for 40 years for Michael to show his face. Well, not face, but uh, uh, to reappear. And lo and behold, he escapes. Spoiler alert. And death ensues. Now, this movie um, pretended like everything after the original Halloween movie never happened. And that's a very bold choice because... They could have easily continued with the story arc of, oh, Laurie Strode is really uh, Michael Myers' sister. Uh, but they never really addressed that. And I, I'm, I'm glad for that. Um, because this time they make it more, they make Michael more of this entity that he only has one purpose one goal and that is to kill and what does he kill he kills teenagers he kills the babysitter and he preys on the vulnerable he, he straight up murders a kid in this and he just like cracks the this kid's head against a, the uh, glass or like the side uh, window of a car and it's so delightfully brutal I mean I'm like oh he killed a kid <laughs> but no I mean I just uh, you don't get horror like this um, sure a lot of this was in the dark I mean it is Halloween uh, this is a horror movie it's a slasher film and sure it's going to be very dark and you're not going to be able to tell what's going on but this everything about this movie I just had a ball with I I am ooh I had a good time um like I said Lori Strode was wonderful in this movie um she has been training her daughter her children to take care of themselves because Michael Myers is always this threat that Jamie Lee Curtis or Laurie Strode has been paranoid for her entire life ever since Michael first uh, appeared and and killed uh, in the her five friends or those first five people in the first movie um So, what does she do? Uh, she trains the, her daughter to box. She's teaching her like all these fighting things, uh, how to use guns, how to use weapons, and also to play off like this helpless victim sort of persona. You know, like, mommy, I can't do it. And it leads to a very great payoff. And 
I was not disappointed with this film at all. Uh, there are some moviegoers that were talking every so often throughout the film, and that's fucking annoying. People should stop doing that. But the whole setup is like I love the dynamic between Laurie Strode and Michael. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to film this while driving a car, one hand on this phone and the other on a steering wheel, and hope to God I don't get pulled over. But uh, you get a good body count in this movie, um, which is a good thing for like movies like this. Because that's what you pay for. That's what you expect to get. You expect a body count. And that's what the essence of a slasher film is. And it delightfully delivers. Um, you get like so many brutal, unforgiving, merciless deaths. Michael does not hold back. There is nothing holding him back in this movie. He is out to cause as much mayhem as possible and he does a very good job at it I would highly recommend this movie um, I guess if I had a few grievances it'd be more personal because and I might even do this as like a separate video or something but um yeah, I just love this movie. I, It's easily one of my favorite films of 2018 so far. And that's not... That's probably saying because I haven't seen a lot of movies this year. Well, nothing outside of, like, comic books or video game stuff or, you know, that type of stuff. The nerd stuff. Uh, the geek, the nerd, the fandom stuff. I haven't had a real chance to get down and see any more sophisticated films as of lately uh, I do want to see The First Man, that looks good I want to see A Star is Born and um, Bohemian Rhapsody I had, I've heard that some of the early reviews for it weren't that favorable but I'm still going to see it but as for Halloween I would definitely give this a solid A I had a lot of fun with this movie, and if you love horror, if you love uh, the slasher genre, if, like blood, guts, and that sort of stuff is your thing, it's definitely worth a watch. And uh, this is my first ever movie review. Um, a little unorthodox, I know, but uh, I had a great time, and if you want me to do this, let me know, or do more of this, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to talk about movies uh, next to com I mean next to artwork and uh, talking about stuff I love movies so um, yeah y'all have a great day and hopefully I can get home before I get pulled over or I get in a car wreck uh, y'all have a great day thank you dear viewer bye